Welcome back to the channel everybody, I am Flash and thank you for joining me again this week for another Marvel Snap video. Uh, I appreciate you guys for being here, if you could just like and subscribe the videos, uh, that goes a long way in helping me grow my channel. And I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's kind of been hopping on board lately, checking out my videos, um, you know, liking my videos, interacting with them, commenting on them. I very much appreciate that and all of that really helps me uh, along the way in my journey of kind of uh, increasing my, uh, you know, <laughs> my presence here. So this week in this video, I want to talk about the brand new card coming to Marvel Snap this week, uh, Gladiator. So Gladiator is a 3-7 card, right, with the on reveal that reads, add a card from your opponent's deck to their side of this location. If it has less power, destroy it. Um, you know, when this card was data mined and it was a little bit stronger and people were deciding whether or not this card was going to be good, I think a lot of the early thoughts were this is going to be great, right? Because even if you hit something that's big, you're like, okay, I can deal with it, right? I know how to deal with it afterwards. I can play Shang-Chi if I pull an Infinite or something because... Infinite is around right now, but not like super prevalent, but in a couple of the strong decks, he's there. Um, but if you pull something big, you can have Shang-Chi deal with it or it pulls it out of their deck. And so people were like, you know, but most things it just hits, right? The problem is what we've learned about this card within the last week or so has changed a lot of thoughts. Most notably is one. The on reveal of your opponent's cards will take effect, which means if you pull a Doctor Doom, yeah, it's going to kill the original Doom, but the two five power Doom bots are still going to hit the board in the other locations, right? It's uh, Black Panther, for example, is another good one. Yes, he is more base power than Black Panther, but Black Panther's on reveal is going to trigger and then he's going to fight a three eight and not win, right? He won't destroy the Black Panther. I know it's a random example of a card considering that that deck is not that card is not really played unless somebody's just trying to do some meme wong stuff but this card i don't think is as good as we originally thought it could be now it does now you also have taken effect that ongoings do are accounted for with this card so if this card pulls dark hawk you're screwed. <laughs> if it pulls Darkhawk, it's not going to destroy it. If it pulls Devil Dinosaur, right? It's going to take the buffs. It's, it's not going to probably, it's probably not going to destroy Devil Dinosaur unless your opponent has like d one card or no cards in their hand, right? It has problems. It's not going to, it's probably not going to destroy a null. Probably. Now it depends on what your opponent has destroyed up until that point. So on turn three, if you pull a null out of their hands, you actually might be able to kill it. But that's a you know rare instance. It has a lot of hits that are good, right? If it pulls an Iron Man, that's a good hit, right? But I think it has more interactions that are not great. Like if it pulls something like Yandu, Iceman, Core, Rock Slide, things that your opponent doesn't care if it gets killed, it just wants the unreveal to go off. It could be problematic, right? Heck, if it pulls an Eliath, <laughs> I think it kills the Eliath, but the Eliath trigger happens and kills the Gladiator. <laughs> be interesting to see how and what the order of operations with that interaction is. Um, I think Gladiator might go well in a Surfer deck, but... <sighs> For the negative impact, most people would just rather play Maximus, who's also a 3-7, as a negative, you know, ability where your opponent your opponent gets to draw two cards. But most people just play Maximus at the in the last turn of the game. Heck, if you play Gladiator in the last turn of the game, you might still get screwed. It could still screw you. So I'm not sure where this card is gonna fit in. I think this card has some interactions that could lead it to be great. Um, I also feel like it has interactions that 
it's going to be really bad. I think it's like, if it's not, I don't think this card has a, has a really well positioned in between, right? Which is unlike Miss Marvel, who has a great in between. When she's great, she's great. When she's bad, she's a four or five that doesn't punish you, right? When Gladiator's bad, he's really bad. He pulled Infinite, or he pulled, and you and you don't have any way to deal with it, or he pulled again something that is gonna positively impact your opponent's board, and they don't care if it dies. Heck, even do like I said, Doctor Doom. Gladiator has much more of a worse downside than a card like Miss Marvel, which is a much better card. Um. That being said, it has some interactions that could help it. Forge is one of them. Making it a 3-9 is really good and doesn't require a lot of effort. Um, it still allows it to be played turn on turn three with nine power, which is which is definitely a clip better. It handles a lot more things at nine power. Uh because there are a lot of eight power cards right now that do good things. So and then, of course, if you're thinking of doing Shuri with this, the biggest problem with that is, yes, you get a 17, I'm sorry, you get a 14 power card that at that point will pretty much destroy anything it pulls except for Infinite, right? And Giganto. And what else? Red Skull? No, because Red Skull's plus two will hit and I think Gladiator would destroy the Red Skull. But... The only problem with that is that requires you to play Shuri on four. Unless you're playing it in with a Zabu build and then you could play Shuri on three and then Gladiator on four, which is much better. But more times than not, if you're trying to do something cheeky, Gladiator comes down on turn five after a Shuri. And there's not much left at that point on a turn five that your opponent is even hoping to pull at, at in my opinion pulling something out on your opponent's deck on turn five is doing them more good than it is you um i think this card fits somewhere very very middle of the road uh i slightly underplayed miss marvel a little bit she's definitely a very good card Gladiator, I think, is a true, it's just kind of there. Sometimes you use it, sometimes you don't. It's just going to be an average level Marvel Snap card with a really, really, like, destructive downside. I think it has more potential, like the swing in... What is it, whether it's going to benefit you to whether it's going to hurt you is is a, that's a big swing right yeah i think this card should have been a series four card this should be a three thousand token card i'm not sure how we settle on this being a 6k five series five card but hey howard the duck is still series five right so what are we even talking about anymore we Series drops are, are a joke right now. They're a thing of the past, apparently. Uh, I don't know what Second Dinner is doing with <laughs> their series drops or if we're even going to get that anymore. I'm leaning towards they're not bringing back series drops. I hate to put that out into the ethos, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. So at the end of the day, if you want to know, should you get Gladiator? Is this a pass or is this a purchase? This is a pass. Don't use absolutely do not use your 6000 tokens on this card. Don't even think about that. Um, the spotlight cash is in the spotlight cash with Mirage and Loki. If you don't have Loki, if you did not buy the season pass. We, uh, you know, two seasons ago when Loki was the season pass card. I would recommend opening spotlight caches for Loki. And if you get Gladiator, then great. But don't get Gladiator with your first pull and stop. 
because that's not really what you want out of these caches you want loki okay if you get loki first you can go ahead and stop pulling caches um but i wouldn't take the risk of if you have four caches get loki okay loki is still the best deck in the game it's still one of the best marvel snap cards ever printed and there's no sign of that they've tried to nerf the card what twice now uh, or adjust it doesn't matter they can move loki to a five cost and it's still gonna be good i would play loki for a five one okay it's just good um open caches for loki if you get gladiator great if you get heck mirage is arguably a better card in marvel snap than gladiator is going to be in my opinion kind of just does more and it's two costs and it's functional and you can pull something from your opponent and it gets plus two power like or not you're not pulling it from your opponent you're just making a copy of their lowest cost you know card in their hand but that has more of a use especially with loki in a certain deck archetype than gladiator does i gladiator is gonna be very middling it's gonna show up for the first few days couple days you'll see a gladiator or two all the content creators are gonna have them not myself i'm not getting gladiator i'm like a i'm not a whale content creator i i get value bundles i get the season pass every month but i get like oh a five dollar bundle that's a good good deal i'm gonna get that the most i'll get is like a ten dollar bundle if it's really good value and that's kind of my limit heck the magic bundle was 15 and it was excellent value fire variant 1500 gold for 15 bucks and i still didn't get it because so i was like ah, i need to hold on to that that uh extra that, that ten dollars and the season get that season, next season pass card so nevertheless gladiator is it a buy is it a pass it's a pass unless you don't have loki open caches for loki if you have loki this is a hundred percent pass okay uh so that's it that's uh, that's everything for this video that's how i feel about gladiator i'd very much appreciate you guys come back and check out my next few videos i got here i'm going to be talking some more about uh some decks i've been playing and what is still arguably the best deck in the game so uh i'm flash i will catch you guys next time peace